Salutations and welcome to Let's Play Castlevania Curse of Darkness! Oh. Uh, do I already have a save on this? I also wanted to check the options. Okay. Remember what the back out button was, because you never know. Yeah, I thought so. Off. Uh. Solid clear, solid, subtitles on. Controller config. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good, that looks good. We're not trying to the back out and use this circle. I might have saved on here already. Because they were giving me like a... Yeah, it's unlocked for later, like a crazy difficulty and uh, at Trevor you can play as a... Uh... That's a bit of a spoiler there, I apologize. Some of these... Uh... We're getting old, some of these... Uh... memory cards I have on here are. I just hope this doesn't fuck up during recording. It's Elgato's been a little, uh, a little frustrating as of late. Oh, it's straight down to accept. Okay. Alright. 1476. Palatia. A great war raged between Dracula and humanity. Just when it seemed that there was no hope for mankind to prevail, out of the darkness and despair, a champion arose. A true-blooded vampire hunter named Trevor Belmont. Belmont and his comrades triumphantly slew Lord Dracula. A truly glorious victory for all. However, the Evil One did not pass from this world in silence. With his final words, Lord Dracula left a demonic curse that enshrouded all of Europe in misery and torment. Ravaged by hideous plague and dire famine, the people's hearts turned black and murderous. The weak were slain without pity, while the land was pillaged and scourged without remorse. Three years have passed since the death of Lord Dracula and the invocation of Dracula's curse. Isaac, I know you're here! Hector! Is that you? I finally tracked you down. <laughs> you tracked me down. <laughs> I was the one who lured you here. Hector, the fool who betrayed our Lord Dracula. That matters not! I've come to exact my revenge upon you, for the death of Rosalie! Oh, and how will you have this revenge? <laughs> when you are utterly at my mercy, you relinquished your powers. You couldn't even protect your own woman. And now you think to defeat me? <laughs> Lord Dracula is gone, but his power are still here in Valacia. Even you must realize. Devil forging. Indeed. With this, the most forbidden of arts. A wisp of conjured matter can be transformed into a hellish devil. There are but two humans who possess this magnificent power. You and I. <laughs> yes, to our lasting shame. But I shed that evil power. Never again will I use it. Ah, but you will, Hector, and soon you have no choice. Without it, I could crush you in an instant. But that wouldn't be very satisfying, now would it? You deserve a most gruesome fate. 
for the humiliation you brought upon me three years ago. Bereft of the power of devil forging, you cannot hope to pursue me. That is why you will reclaim your powers, and thence follow where I lead you. <laughs> but, in the end, the glorious vengeance you seek will not be yours. It will be mine. <laughs> Wait! Isaac! Damn him. So be it. I must descend into darkness and reclaim that accursed power once more. Heed my words. I will hunt you down like the beast you are! I will have my revenge. Actually, thrown right in. Alright, we are Hector in this one. He, uh... Amsty gave up a little bit here, the whole devil forging thing? Oh, we'll be getting into that, uh, very shortly. I believe in this game... Let's see. Yeah, you do level up in this game. This I remember. We're playing more of this than the other game, to be honest with you, just because there's a... lot to go on. Much more so than, uh... Lament of Innocence, to be... Ch that you can trust me. Alright. So I'll be seeing, like, a... Uh... Ooh! Speaking of throwing me right in... To work the way up to fight this thing. Ooh. I can kind of stun him. We got a four hit combo here. Oh, they dropped something. Memorial ticket warps the last register save point. Okay. Might be what this is in here. Uh, select. Oh, now it takes longer to do the map this time? Ugh. Is there another button? Oh, one's my guard. Oh boy! Also, the loading thing as well. Oh, I see. Default me to two. I think two. I have old saves on there, maybe. From like long, long ago. Good look at that before we move on. I remember that being a thing, too. Well. I'll circles my what you call it now. Ooh, a little more load times. Now it is. Free is the other one. Still, at least this is a game I remember fondly and remember finishing. I'm like, uh. I'm really on the fence about, um, what you call it? What's it called? Cross Edge? Yeah, that's what it is. I keep wanting to say Chaos or something like that. I'm like, what is it? Chaos Legion? No, I played that. Chaos Wars? No, that's got the bad, uh. <laughs> oh, wow. I really can't move my body. <laughs> You ever want to take a look at that, or it's all over on YouTube, but just watching that, I'm like, do I want to actually, like, fuck around with this? Because I'm starting to run into that thing where I'm like, I play, like, bad games, but now I'm like, huh. I'm like, it can't be as bad as people make it out to be, right? And I'm like, hmm. Maybe it's not a bad game, it's just more of what I expect it to be. But anyway, that's enough about that. We're talking about this game! We are going this way. Something fits in this door. No, we are not going this way. Excuse me. Okay, alright. It's picking up now. Because just had to load that first thing. Alright. You scared me for a minute, game. Alright. Alright, there's no line here, which means there's more to this room, then. Okay, here we go. Not this bad boy out. I don't think anything's here at the very beginning. Oh. Oh, that's cool. They put the whatcha called up when you're, like, in battle. Hey, I leveled up. Nice. 
So yeah, this might not go as quick, because there is going to be more grinding. I remember being a little bit more levels, too. I'm trying to find my way back up. That's all that's there. Hug the wall and do this. The other way's got to be open with something. Already liking the music. Oh, that's kind of neat. Points in the direction of the door if it's like, oh, what's this here? Does it do that for all doors or just the save points? What's up? Yeah, it's only for save points, it looks like. That's kind of a neat little feature. It's like, hey, over here. You're probably going to want to come in here and use these. Register thing's interesting, too. It's not the last one you use, like, in the original game. Automatically, you can set it. So. Already big improvements. I'm getting money because I don't need hearts? Oh, I have hearts, or maybe not. Maybe you don't do so weapons in this game. Ooh, what's that? You got a, a bronze? I got a thingy. Guard button and left analog stick jump button. The quick step, very evasive move. While performing the quick step, Hector will be invulnerable. Use the quick step to definitely evade enemy attacks. Like so. Okay. Let's have a little more familiarity a little bit with uh, Lament. These guys go down in two hits, but they are numbers. So. Ooh, Rosario. Blam! Ooh, shiny. That's all that's in here, yes? Okay. Ooh, already going up to the second floor. Well, this is tutorial area. Wow, this is different too. I had to work our way to get to this point uh, in the last game. Yeah, I remember this game being uh, a little more out there with like the locales and everything. I believe it's also one big map as opposed to like separate ones. So, it's, so it is more like a Symphony of the Night in that regard. think it makes the game bigger, so it'll probably take me a lot longer to go through, like I said. What are these bronzes I'm picking up? Can I sell these? Or no, they're what you call it, maybe. Again, we'll get to. I was more excited to play this than Lament, but I had to do that game first. Chip, good. That's a level one. Is there a safe point here to hit up before I continue? Making sure I'm going the right way. Because I'm dumb and get turned around easy. <laughs> Maybe this one, the camera changes. <gasps> I can move the camera! Fabulous day! I can move the fucking camera. I will not be an, uh, an issue anymore. They knew. Abandoned castle map. I can see what the rest of this looks like. Let's see. Hmm? Looks like we're coming up here. First floor. Hmm. That makes me think I missed something, but eh. Could be stuff I can investigate later. Out of memory. Yeah, I remember you're gonna be picking up a lot more shit in this game. It's just more candles. Oh. Oh. I thought it was something dangerous at first. <laughs> I feel like the Fenrir might take a chunk out of me. These guys? Nah. Getting monies little by little. Gotta take some getting used to a little bit where attack is not the open door anymore. Uh oh. This might be a problem.
Iron, I'm getting rid of you first. Oh wait, you got eye lasers, I don't want that. Make a lot going in this game. You move a lot faster too! Also might be a good thing. So yeah, already you definitely f playing this the first time. I'm f really feeling a sense of like, okay, I'm a little more. Uh... Then again, Leon Belmont was like newly entrusted with the whip and everything else. He might have done some fighting on the side, but he wasn't. He wasn't uh, this big bad uh, Devil Forge Master. Uh, how do I open you? Circle? There it is. Uh oh. Ooh. You need something to open that, and I think that something might be in here. This unearthly power. Is it coming from that tombstone? <laughs> How conscientious of him. He carved the instructions into stone along with the most difficult visualization. So, that's how badly he wants me to regain my powers. Very well. Heed my words, O oh great powers of darkness! Release to them with the tortured souls. Let me infuse him with my life force and awaken him to the world of the living. Immaculate being, appear before me now! Forging, isn't it? Never seen that before. Quite impressive. It's enough to make your blood run cold. Who are you? Oh, my apologies, my lord. I should have offered an introduction. I go by Zed. I'm here for one purpose only. To purify this land of the pestilent curse which infects it. I see. You, on the other hand, are pursuing the other Devil Forge Master, are you not? The one you seek fled toward the chapel on the other side of the mountain. He made his escape through the back of the castle. What concern is this to you? He is the one protecting the curse. Ergo, he is an impediment to me and to all those who abide in this land. I see. Very well. I, Hector, thank you for your help. Now, if you'll forgive me, I must be on my way. Innocent Devil Infant Fairy appears. Now this is where the game gets interesting, because now, like, uh, if you've seen me play through what was it, Knights of Azure, it's kind of the same kind of the same deal with like the familiars. That's what it made that's what reminded me of this. I'm like, hmm. Aji, Rue, Rats, Bell. I can name it myself. Uh Poochie. <laughs> to the extreme! Don't really have anything right here, so let's go with... Ellie. Kind of sucks you can't press start and just automatically accept it. Okay, now, yeah, like I said, this is where things get interesting, because they also, like, affect your stats as well. The stronger they are, the stronger you'll become, so they will level up along with you. Uh, they, they, okay, they use the hearts as energy, I see. So, they might have done away with the sub-weapons. These might be your sub-weapons, kind of. Whenever they take damage or use a special ability, that energy decreases. They lose all hearts, the ID reverts to soul form. At that point, they'll simply hover around Hector. He gains enough hearts, the ID soul can then be restored to material form. Innocent devils cannot die. So, it's actually a little bit of, uh, Chaos Legion as well, with that, in that regard. Yeah, they level up with experience points by defeating enemies. When enemies defeated by Hector or the ID, they'll both gain the experience, and ID must be summoned for it to receive any. However, to truly succeed, level up both. Segment mode auto instructs the innocent devil to act on its own. Its manner of attack and use of special abilities dictated to its own reasoning. Or you can set it to command and then be like, okay, hit the, uh, I guess like a button or something like that. Hector targets the same enemy as Hector's battling. In this mode, instant devils will not use special abilities that consume hearts unless told to do so. 
which might go better for here because they can uh, heal us and open that chest out there, as, as I thought. Yeah. It's up or down. Does that work? Triangle. Okay. I remember that. Right. Just want to make sure I got it before we move on. If I put you to auto, you'll open this up. Hit circle and then she'll do it. Alright. Dragon Crest. Maybe from a carved dragon bone. Looks like it should be placed in something somewhere. Maybe back at that other door we uh, couldn't get through last time. So let's head back all the way over there then. Hmm, does that take up the screen the whole time? Well. It's a little distracting at first. Oh, I'm getting hearts again. I see. Yeah. That's what made me think of it again, because we got Alrene. That's what I should have named it! Shit, I missed out. What was the Alrene's name? Taco? That's what I should have named it. Should have put back Taco. Damn. That's fine, I'll think of something. Anyway, I got a long way to go back. I gotta go all the way back. That's why what that lot other uh, grayed out area was, because I didn't get the chance to open it up yet. That's what it is, but there's totally this here as well. There's all this too I didn't map out. Huh, that's weird. Ugh. I'm actually fighting level 5s and being able to kill them by myself. Wow. I hate to be that guy for uh, the other LP I'm doing, but I totally am being that guy right now. Cause That is frustrating. Okay, so here's outside. Is there more to it? Can I not? Okay. I was about to say, that was that whole corridor. There's more out here. I don't want to do done that first. Let's see. If there actually is anything out here or not. It looks like I'm leading to something. That empty corridor there. Hello. Still part of the castle? This might be uncharted territory or a place I'm not a Who's to go just yet? So far it's really empty. This place should be teaming with shit. Some candles. Anyway, I managed to level up and so did my uh... I guess that's... Yes, I can. I block it. Bring it up. Yeah. A little more uh, the heart there. Yep, there is something over here. Be just another ticket? Eh, looks like something else. Looks like another potion. Yeah, two of those suckers now. So Lola was out here. Ah. Oh well. At least I mapped it out. Wait, hold on. Ancient Moai stone carvings. Very valuable to those who are interested. What could that be? Anyway, gotta go all the way, uh. A little bit freer than the last one. Gotta get to over here. Looks like we'll be going down to the basement one. Something fits in this door. Yes. I'm killing things again at an actual good speed. Good lord, those fights are taking longer than a fucking Saturday morning RPG. Again, I said I will at least do the dungeon on Uzu, but uh, I don't know if I want to do anything past that. I just want to at least show it off for the sake of uh, showing it off and being actually curious at how that would work out. Uh, bestiary. Just picking that up. Get information on Liz, what they drop, if anything. That's how the first game went, but that was like a little... Uh, not as good. Not as extensive, I should say. Oop, new enemies. Oh boy, oh, I've reached it now. So that skeletons. 
Spooky scary. Oh, you healed me. I guess you just do that for fruit from time to time because he didn't use any hearts. Maybe over time, if it's easier in trouble, it'll do it. Oop. Would have totally missed that where not for the arrow. Thanks again. I could have looked at the map too, but hey. Continuing on through the next portion. This little cave here. Ooh, it's a little, uh... What's all this down here? That isn't marked. Probably like before, it's not continuation. It's just... Hey, level up for the... Is it right there? Could be something down here, perhaps? I see that level 5. I'm still like level 3, but I'm actually like, holy shit. Like, I feel like I'm getting somewhere with this. I'm accomplishing things. Don't get me wrong, I played other like games where you gotta do stuff like that. Like, I, I uh, I streamed a little bit of this guy. I'm like, oh, I can kill things in a decent fashion in that. I mean, those take longer, but yeah, that's more of like the nature of the game. The other, I don't know. Plus the fact that I only know maybe like, let's say Darkstalkers in Disgaea, and only Disgaea was a little bit, I never actually finished it, so. I'm sorry to keep harping on that. I'm really debating whether you'd even bother continuing, because I don't know how long I'm going to be on this game to grind, let alone that one. I don't want to pick a slow game. I don't want to pick a game I'm not going to enjoy and continue playing just for the sake of it either. So then it's like, why bother? I won't be this game, I can assure you that. Like I said, I finished this before. Well, that branched off, I didn't know that. Well, let's go around then. Might have known that, I wasn't too busy bitching about Cross Edge. Damn it, I, st I still want to say Chaos. It's like a Chaos Wars game, like I mentioned this. Oh, it's Chaos Edge or something like that. That's what I think it is. I've played any of those other games like Art and Elico and Atelier. Maybe they're better. So all the reviews say how tough the game is, how a lot of time you're going to be putting into it. Nothing wrong with that, but I just wish the Witcher Clouds were a little better. do that to myself. I'm always like, oh, I'll come back to it later, and then I'm like, mm, you know what? Anyway, sorry to keep harping on that, I know. Alright, I'm stopping. I'm gonna focus on this now. If I gotta think about it, I probably should just cancel it, you know what? Thinking about it. Smash all these barrels here? Aha, there's another chest. Open that up while I grab this. Aluminum. It's very light armor. No more purple wine for you. It's going to be red, honestly, but you know what? Oop. Okay, I can't exactly, uh, or can I? Okay, it was just a little, uh, it's, it is a little iffy moving in the camera at the same time. All right, all right. At least you're giving me the option. Beggars can't be choosers. Just giving me the option is more than enough. Next portion, Fairy got another level up. This is not a save point. What could be in here? Oh, money! Actual money, not just a fucking penny each time, or a dollar in this game. Whatever these things drop. Oh, as I kill all these, the door will open. Ooh. Oof. I take hits, but I feel like you can tank through them, too. It's like I can fuck up and not super duper pay for it. Which, again, I don't mind in some games, but... Uh, I feel like half this episode's gonna be bitching about what you call it. Which I apologize for. Super stoked to be playing this again, by the way. He's dead now. 
Like I said, I put a lot of time in this game. Uh, for reasons that we'll get to much later. But the night is still young. So let us go out and have an adventure or whatever the game over screen for us. Symphony of the Night is. I haven't seen it in so long. Forget the text, but you remember the fucking background and the dissolve effect in the game over. <laughs> I can't remember exactly what the bottom text says, like the night is young or so and so. What you got? You looking at something? Weapon combine. It is possible to create new weapons and armor by combining various materials together. Yeah, you're not just forging a uh, bunch of costs. Another walking blacksmith over here. Choose combat from the status window to the combine. Oh, combine rather. That was hard to read with the yellow. Combining can be formed any time as weapons and armor increase. Those combination, more combinations will be possible. When you find new materials, check the combination list to see if something new is available. This will check the boost area to see which monsters possess the certain materials. I'm breaking this down. Okay. Ah, okay. So you act as the imp too, pointing out the things. Hmm, a pillar. Why don't you hit it multiple times and see? Might have been the only one down here. Everything else looks okay. Bet you anything, I'll be coming back and being like, Oops, I missed this one. Evolution crystal. Yeah, they evolve, actually. Uh, some monsters, they drop in evolution crystals that affect the development of the innocent devil. A certain amount given to your ID, its formal change, its various types. This type of evolution crystals drop will change depending on the weapon you're using. So, sword, axe, spear, um, blunt, I guess, fist, and miscellaneous. This evolution will be given crystals found with a, using a sword versus an axe. Yeah, so that's very important. And you can turn it on and off, so if like, okay, I'm done summoning with this thing, or I want it to gain something else, I don't have the right uh, material yet. That reminds me, I probably gotta look up the what you call because there are some you, like, need to get in, like, certain areas, so. But I won't worry about that until, uh, probably later on, like I said. I'll probably just fuck around here what I got and see what comes up, so it'll be a surprise to me as well as all of you. Not just to be safe since I only got the one. Alright, filled everything out. Combine, short sword. That's one, so I think that's the one I'm already using. I don't want to lose anything, though. Aluminum and bronze. This might be... Punch rings. So I'm probably going to know that aluminum later. Bronze evolved memory. That I can do. Leather helm! Mild memory. There we go. Yeah, I'm a little better off now. Hang on. I can... I can just make another short sword and then do the axe. What was this one? Short sword and aluminum. Ah, okay. Let's see, I already need another aluminum. I can make Gano. That's all for now. Now I equip everything. Let's see, what do I want? Need to axe show that off. Put that on, put that on. No accessories yet. Might be a little slower, but bigger arc and I'm getting myself more attack right now, which might be helpful. What's coming? Ooh, Zambos. Zambos get blambozoed. Hmm. Evo Crystal, hey. See, I'm collecting blue now because I changed my weapon. What we're coming up on. This small area here. Gotta be careful. I don't have a replacement for this uh, laptop battery. They're really hard and expensive to get. So I see the what you call about to go down. I forgot to plug it in, and the thing will just turn off, and then there goes my fucking recording entirely. I don't want that. So that's what that pause was. I apologize. 
maybe that's part of my problem too with the recording thing. I'm using a laptop and not like a boss ass computer. But this is a pretty solid, uh, this is computer. I'm talking like, my do drive is like almost a terabyte. Like, a, look at my gigs. That's what I'm using now. That might be a, a thing too. My C drive's only a little bit. I heard Avermedia does pretty good capture card. I, don't know, I think it's what everyone's using nowadays, like KZ and everybody. Not moving as fast with my weapon, but I'm hitting a little harder. Anybody else down here? How's that? Okay. Almost harder. Come on back up. Skeletons. Ooh, I'm taking them out in one shot now. Eat up on them crystals. If you're big and strong for whatever you're gonna be. Now, does that automatically heal me if I level up? Because it looked like my, what you call, did jump to like the. You see, current max is like the same, so. I think that's exactly what happened. Also good to know. Wild memory. I'm gonna get a lot of those. So I gotta make shit with them or sell them off later. That's all I was hoping would be outside, like, oh, I overlooked this, perhaps. I don't fully remember, but I think that Moai head, I don't know what it does, but I think it's like your, uh... Oh, you have a save file of our previous Castlevania game. Well, here you go. So I think normally it would just would have been the potion. Ooh, these things. I'm missing my whip already. I don't think they say what they are until I kill one. Skeleton Blaze, level 5. Okay, they're the same levels the Watcher Call Thieves. See, I'm definitely going to be looking over, like, a bestiary guide to see, like, this thing drops what? So I can get this weapon. So I think that's a thing, too. Call at least needing like a certain weapon of some kind for a really special something. Where are you leading me to? A room with a potion, some enemies. Oof. That hurt, but not to an excruciating degree. Let me come later. Also feels kind of nice to be in, uh, to not have, uh, good old Crispin Freeman as, a, a protagonist for once in these games. So used to him having the antagonist. I mean, it was Iron Man, but again, I totally sided with, uh, Captain America. There's a chair over here, yeah. Remember that being a thing in this game. I don't know exactly what it is. I guess it's like the furniture thing that uh, Just a Belmont had in... Uh, what was it? What was that? Uh, it was the second GBA game. It wasn't... Uh, it wasn't Circle of Moon. It was after that, but it was before Sorrow. I forget what it's called. It's like Judgment or something like that. It's judgment thing. Chair explanation. Low frequency, woo, soothe away your stiffness. Those don't look low frequency, but wow. Maybe you can handle it just because he's a badass. I'll take it. I forget what the chairs do exactly. But yeah, that's another thing to look out for as well. the hits, but I feel a little better about taking them now because I'm like, now I'm a base. 
sure we're gonna get bodied by some things later, but... Level 7, he'll probably give me some good shit. Drop the watcher cards, it might, could be the shield, could be the axe. Of course you gotta drop it first. This was. This place is a lot bigger than advertised. Things are only gonna get bigger from here, I'm afraid. Uh oh, that thing heals. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Nope! See you later, bye. Oof. I told you Fairy was good. Corrects all my fucking mistakes, as you can see. Maybe not all, but... I was about to say, it's like, it can't be your map or no. I'm like, mm. like, go this way. You didn't go this way yet. I'm like, oh. Only I can figure that out. And then I look it up later and if I'm stuck. That's probably how this is going to end up being too. Because again, there's like... Certain weapons, certain summons you need to get to certain areas. I forget exactly which is which. I remember some, but not all. Of course, you gotta remember. Of course, you gotta get them to that point though, with the right weapons and everything too. So, oh, a meat. Now, was that a pickup or, or something over here? What is it? It's a shield, I think. Oh, it's a double step. Okay, now I can do two in a row. Need against these. Take them out first. Oof. Quit running away. Ooh, level up. E. Oh, it didn't heal me fully, but hey. As long as, uh. As long as Ellie's got me. Sorry, I forgot what your name was, I called you. Blocking is much quicker. Yeah, you saw swing. Okay, well maybe not that quick, but still. Felt like an improvement. Everything about this feels like a fucking improvement. There's a save point over there. That I will take. And end off this episode. We will continue on through here. Did I do third? Yeah, there's all this to map out, so... First is, or did I do that already? What? Oh! Okay. Well, whatever, I'll figure it out later and know where to go and all that stuff next time on Let's Play Castlevania Curse of Darkness! Darkness! Ha <laughs> ha!